The new Blue Beetle movie just came out. As we know, there have always been comparisons between him and Venom. Venom and Blue Beetle come from Marvel and DC respectively, but they share a lot of similarities. Their alien origins, enhanced abilities, dual identities, and finally, their redemption arcs. Apart from their similarities, let us focus on their differences in this marvelous video and discuss who would win in a fight between Venom and Blue Beetle. Let's party. Blue Beetle Scarab slash Armor Blue Beetle can refer to multiple superheroes who have been existing since 1939. Specifically, they refer to Dan Garrett, Ted Kord, and Jaime Reyes. The Blue Beetle Scarab is an alien technology that is destined to find a host and destroy the host planet. However, this particular scarab was damaged and could not control the host. Dan Garrett used to be a police officer in the initial versions, but was later retconned to be an archaeologist who runs into a scarab of the Blue Beetle in Egypt. Ted Kord was a student of Dan but did not possess any superpowers. His superpower was his intellectual genius and superb athleticism. He made amazing gadgets and weapons, comparable to Batman. Finally, Jaime Reyes runs into the Blue Beetle Scarab in Texas, which fuses with his spine and gives him an advanced suit capable of even alien technologies. His main problem is that he is young and often impulsive. Ted Kord is his mentor and helps him hone and control his powers. In particular, Jaime Reyes' armor can be considered quite a technological marvel. It is quite adaptive that gives him various abilities including flight and enhanced strength and durability. Then there is Blue Beetle's ability to generate various sorts of weapons from energy blasters to blades or deadly pincers. The suit itself can repair itself as well as heal Jaime from potential injuries. Jaime also gains supersonic speed and balance, being able to lift 20 tons as well. The scarab that has a shine mind with Jaime itself has comprehensive knowledge about various alien technologies and strategies. However, since the scarab is a tool of conquest by the Reach, Jaime is often suggested quite violent and lethal solutions. Thankfully, Jaime's moral sense is strong, and he resorts to nonviolent ways to deal with the situations. Scarab sight is better than X-ray vision, and gives the Blue Beetle information on the target ranging from health information to weaknesses. Then there is also a type of Spidey Sense. Hacking into any security system is easy for the Blue Beetle. There is also the interesting ability to translate alien languages if need be. Unrelatedly, there is energy absorption from whatever source he can find which could be used offensively and defensively. From a modern perspective, the Scarab is also adept at artificial intelligence. However, there are some chinks in the Blue Beetle armor. It is not a good match for Green Lanterns, whose power of will could potentially be too strong. Then there is nature, with which it has a long-standing truce, as well as magic and magical creatures. The armor will not mess with them. Very strong magnetic fields can also be a problem. Eyes. Venom Symbiote Armor The Venom Symbiote is an alien entity called Clintar, who were once benevolent but later corrupted. It has many qualities. It can shapeshift really well to adapt to any sort of shape and form. The armor grants the host enhanced speed and strength, enough to contend toe-to-toe -to -toe with Spider-Man. Venom can walk on walls and swing from buildings, using web-like stuff, much like Spidey again. He can camouflage to the point of near invisibility, generating great stealth, as well as the ability to mimic other individuals. Venom is also a master of disguise. The Venom symbiote armor can heal itself as well, mending broken bones and healing wounds quite fast. Venom also possesses a type of weak spidey sense, in the form of tingling in the face of danger. One of the great powers of the symbiote armor is that it is immune to Spider-Man's spidey sense, in the sense that Venom's presence does not alert Spider-Man. The production of tentacles is a classic Venom move, and the production of the Venom symbiote is an asexual form lead to villains like Carnage. Although the Venom symbiote armor grants the host great powers, it creates an insatiable hunger in the host that ultimately leads to corruption. The physical augmentation of the host is the most apparent chain, with the ability to lift cars and jump buildings easily. The relationship between the Venom symbiote and host is quite complex, and perhaps not that healthy in the long run. However, its powers are undeniable. The Venom symbiote, also, is not without its weaknesses, and these include fire and sound. Blue Beetle vs. Venom Who will win if they fight? Which armor is more powerful? Venom is likely stronger than the Blue Beetle and has superior regenerative abilities. 
Blue Beetle, on the other hand, can fly, giving him an advantage in an open environment as opposed to Venom's wall crawling in a city. The Blue Beetle armor provides a large host of weapons and tools that can adapt to various situations. Its energy blasts are also something that Venom has to contend with. The Blue Beetle armor's adaptability and versatility to different situations is perhaps its greatest asset. Venom can camouflage and use stealth attacks. Venom has more experience than Jaime and although Jaime is likely smarter, but then again Venom has a better bond with its host than Jaime with his scarab. Venom is likely as fast as the Blue Beetle, but the latter can exploit Venom's weaknesses better. Overall, it could just boil down to experience or greater durability. In an open environment, the Blue Beetle aka Jaime might have some sort of an edge especially with his energy blasters and ability to fly. But inside a city, Venom will be on home ground, and Jaime's mobility will be limited, and he will have to develop a new strategy. The ultimate answer is that we cannot arrive at a conclusion because it depends on the setting of the fight, whether it is open or closed, i.e. in a field or in a city, then each has an edge. However, we can surely say it will be a close fight. Some fandom groups will put their money on Venom, but one never knows. Marvelous Verdict Venom is a multifaceted character whose legacy is not that just of a mere villain, but as someone who is not black or white, but gray. This leads to a deep understanding of the human psyche, as well as the understanding of cohabitation and symbiosis between the host and the Venom symbiote armor. Venom's overall cultural impact, especially his recent portrayal in a somewhat sympathetic light, has led him to become iconic. The Blue Beetle is not quite as iconic, but his legacy has endured due to his adaptability and the fresh takes brought about by a change of guard, at various points that leads to evolution in character, leading to a change of landscape. Ultimately, it is impossible to decide who would win, as it would depend on so many factors, as we have discussed earlier. The real winner is us, the fans, because we get more and more content about these awesome characters. See you in the next Marvelous video.